Hey guys, it's Carnage6 back again with another review, and this time we've got the Predators Series 2 figures from NECA. And in this series, you get the Tracker Predator, the Unmasked Berserker Predator, and the Battle Damage Classic Predator. And now here's a look at the back of the box. So let's take these suckers out and see if they're worth the money. And here they are out of the box. So let's have a look at each figure individually. Okay, first let's start with the Tracker Predator. Now first off, I've got to say the details on all these figures are amazing. I'm a real fan of NECA's Predator figures. The quality and level of detail associated with them is just second to none. If you're a Predator fan, these are definitely must-have figures. Okay, and now I just want to get you a, a little bit of a close-up to show you some of the finer details. As you can see on the mask, there's like scratching and stuff. As I said, NECA's level to detail is amazing. The tusks coming out. I gotta say, the only bad thing about NECA Predator figures is that some of the things are very brittle and fragile. You gotta be careful of these. You can snap these off really easily. And he has the shoulder cannon, which does move. does pivot this way, but mine's a bit stuck. Again, the joints, I'll get into that a little bit later, but mine are kind of stuck. The thing on here is kind of stuck, the elbow, and I do not want to move it because if they're stuck and you force them, you could break the arms right off. Again, that's the only thing I don't like about these figures. He does have a wrist blade here, but it's more of a dagger. It kind of just comes out. It doesn't like extend like the other Predator figures do. It just kind of pops out, so I don't know if it's a throwing dagger or if it's an actual wrist blade, and I don't know, they just couldn't be bothered to make it extend. Either way, he's an awesome figure. Next up, we have the Unmasked Berserker Predator. This is, a, again, a really awesome sculpt. NECA did a fantastic job with this figure. Again here I'm just showing you a bit in closer detail. I mean look at the face sculpt on that. That is pretty awesome. I love it. Again he's got the rotating and moving shoulder cannon. Same articulation as the others. Has that same weird wrist blade that doesn't come out, it just pops off. That's why it's got this rubber band, I don't know if you can see it, the clear rubber band around it. I really love the look of this figure. Again, NECA, great job. Now we come to my favorite figure of the series, the Battle Damage Classic Predator figure. I'm probably more of a fan of this because I really love the first movie. Again, this figure is just awesome. The level of detail is amazing. So let's take a closer look. And now for an up close and personal look at this amazing figure. He's not called a battle damage predator for nothing. Look at all those scarring marks and everything. You can tell this guy's been through a few battles. And I really love this awesome detail. Half of his mask is kind of missing. You can see his eye in there. That's pretty cool. Again, he's got the rotating shoulder cannon, although this is an entirely separate piece you have to snap on. And again, he's got some wounds with the green blood. That's another awesome touch. He's got the control panel here, the wires. These kind of hinder his articulation here a bit. 
but it looks cool. And again, this guy does have the blades that extend. Now, uh, see if I can do it. Yeah, see? They do extend, and they do go back in. Just be, again, be careful. This, these are quite brittle. You don't want to break those. An amazing, awesome figure. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the articulation using the Berserker Predator. I didn't use all the Predators to show the articulation because some of mine have stuck joints and I don't want to break them off. <laughs> anyway, all of them feature this rotating cannon. It does move side to side, up and down on all of them. The head is, if I can get it to move, on a ball joint. It's hard to do, again, because the hair restricts the movement, but it is on a ball joint. The arm... Again, ball joint, in and out, up and down. I'm not going to stress it too much because I don't want them to snap because these are awesome figures. Uh, again, elbow does rotate, does bend. The hands feel like they are on a ball joint. Yes, they are. There is, actually, the waist feels like it's on a bit of a ball joint, so you get a bit of movement there. That's pretty cool. Uh, the legs, they do bend in and out like that. There is a joint, if I don't know if you can see it on the tops here, that does bend. Again, they swivel, they bend. The knees. The feet on most of them are on a ball joint on some of them. This one seems to be, I think it is on a ball joint, but I don't know, I guess the... Classic here is hindering it. Anyway, you get a great range of motion. I just wish some of my joints on my fingers were not stuck. And uh, other than that, pretty cool. And finally, what do I think of these figures? Well, I don't think it's any secret. I absolutely love them. I mean, these are a great alternative to having to buy the $100 plus, some are like $300 plus, Hot Toys versions. Go for these. They're like 15, 20 bucks from NECA. These are a great alternative. They have just as much detail, sometimes even more. The articulation is great, if your joints aren't stuck, that is. And I don't know, they just look completely awesome. I know I've said awesome too much in this review, but that's how I feel about them. They're awesome. <laughs> I do have some complaints, however. I mean, the brittle plastic on them is a big turnoff. These are kind of figures you got to stick on the shelf and never move them. You can't really play with them. Pieces are going to get broken. Things are going to get lost. You know, so collector's pieces only, basically. The other complaint I had was, of course, the stuck joints. On mine, on the Tracker Predator, it's really bad. I can't get them to move, and I don't want to force it because the arms feel like they're going to pop right off. So, again, that's another minor complaint. If you get ones that the joints aren't stuck, it's not so bad. But, beware. The other problem I had with two of them, the Berserker and the Tracker, again, the arm blades do not extend. They're just kind of stuck on there with the plastic, that clear rubber band. If you take them off, they kind of fall off. So, I don't, again, I don't know if they're supposed to be arm blades or just like throwing daggers. But it kind of sucks because they just fall off really easily. And finally, uh, well, I would really love if they made alternate heads for these guys so you don't have to buy, like, other figures to complete, like, for example, Berserker. There's no reason why they couldn't have included this unmasked head in the first Berserker Predator. It just forces you to buy another figure, forces you to spend money. Uh, I mean, for me, it's not a big deal because I love Predator and... Having an army of Predators on my shelf is amazing, but some people who are more budget-minded might not agree with that. So, all in all, I think these figures are great. Don't get me wrong, I have my complaints. They're not perfect. NECA can definitely do a little bit more to improve them. But seriously, if you are a Predator fan, you need to rush out and buy these figures right now. Support NECA so they keep making these figures for a long time to come. Now, the Tracker Predator is definitely not my favorite of the bunch. He's one I could probably do without. I mean, he's cool looking, but I don't know. I just don't like the uh, green and brown foresty looking deal he's got going on. 
Again, it's personal preference, so don't be swayed by my personal opinion. Everyone's going to have their favorites. This guy, the Berserker Predator, he's awesome. I really loved him in the movie. The only thing, the figure doesn't really make him look as big as he does in the movie. In the movie, he looked like way bigger than the classic Predator, but, you know, I guess money problems, you can't make him bigger, that kind of thing. But, yeah, he's really, he's probably tied for first place for my favorite of this line. And, of course, my favorite is the Battle Damage Classic Predator. Again, it's just personal preference. I love the first movie. Uh, what can I say? You know, he's awesome. So, that's it for my review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. If you have any questions, comments, post them down below. Post a video response if you want. And I'll see ya.